Okay, so we're already there. Like we're not just walking. Like we're there. You're walking up to it. Okay. Um, when we get closer, does it look like there are areas of the ruins that are still like mostly enclosed? Hmm. Well, with the picture I just sent you, there there's like building behind those archways. Yeah. Because you also talked about crumbling, so... Yeah. So do we hear any sounds, or besides, like, wildlife or birds or whatever, do we sense um, anything? You hear humming coming from inside. A weird... Like a mechanic, a mechanical? No, like a weird song that you've never heard before. Uh oh, Frankie. I think this might be your cult. It's singular in nature. Oh, okay. It's not a big cult. Just one, one member. <laughs> Is that why it's not dangerous? Could be. <laughs> it's one person who's the entire cult. Yeah. 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 They've just got MPD, it's fine. Uh, oh, I I know what you're talking about now. I'm like, what? I was trying to figure out the acronym. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Is there a face in that one window to the left? Oh, creepy. It looks like a statue. Like, yeah. I don't think there's supposed to be. Okay. I'm going with I'm it. Just, yeah. I was just pushing around. I'm like, wait a second. No, it's I not. Two eyes and a mouth. It does look <laughs> like it, but if you zoom, like, right in, it's just holes in the stone. Okay. I don't know. Anyway, hey, are we venturing in with the, like, looking to see, hello, to see if I want to make sure my camera equipment's running and seems to be functioning properly. No issues so far. Is it? Okay. So as, as you kind of wander deeper in, um, you can kind of see the beauty of the decaying structure and the embrace of nature reclaiming its territory. But as you wander into the jagged archways, you feel like the history pressing down on you. Um, and now you hear the voice kind of echoing throughout the entire ruins. Um, you kind of see dim light occasionally filtering in through the holes in the ruins as well. Um, and then you start making your way to what you would assume to be a central area in these. Um, and the humming that you were hearing kind of echoing throughout gets a little bit louder as you get closer. Um, it's a cheerful yet haunting tune. Um, and you find yourself standing before a, kind of a throne type thing. It's it's made out of stone and it's old and decaying, but it, you can still make out what it used to be, right? Um, and sitting on the throne is a woman who you guys recognize, but she doesn't notice you guys. Um, her, Which one is it? Uh, I think it was Maxine who talked to her. Um, and for Frankie, um, the woman you see kind of gives off a familial vibe of somebody you've talked to, but not this person in particular. Um, that's weird. I'll send you the picture and if you remember who okay. it was, then great. If not, then you have to wait. Um, let 
There you go. Um, so yeah, she's wearing a, a blend of like flowing robes and natural adornments. Her hair is all wild and tangled with curls, uh, intertwined with like different flowers. Um, she's lost in her humming, it seems. And there's a smile on her face as she uh, is tending to a makeshift altar adorned with offerings of fruit, wine, and carved wooden symbols. Um, and as she's doing this, she kind of turns around and she sh like jumps back. It's like, oh, oh, visitors. How wonderful. Uh, she rises to her feet and she's like, I'm Isabella Tremaine. A humble servant of Dionysus. Welcome to our sacred site. Um. Hi. Hi. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. You must forgive the state of the place. Um, time has not been kind to these once magnificent halls, but come sit with me. Um, let me tell you about our, our worship here. Uh, the worship of Dionysus. We honor him with celebrations of light, beauty of nature, and divine madness that connects us to the gods. Uh, she um, grabs one of the wines. I'm here for a church sermon. She grabs one of the wines off the altar and starts pouring it, and she's like, oh, okay, my apologies. And she sets the wine back down. Starts drinking it herself. Then can I ask what you're doing here? Mm. Well, I've been for a little bit, and uh, we know we're going to check out the ruins. Everyone tells you, you know, look for the ruins, look for the ruins. If you're lost, blah blah blah. You know, it's a landmark, so we had a bit of a free day, so we thought we'd come check it out. I didn't expect anyone to be here though. Kinda called it, but didn't expect anyone to be here. Ah, I understand. Well, I am cleaning up for our next meeting. So you're just alone here, then? At the moment. How big is your, um, do you call it a congregation? I, I or following, know. or? I would say so. Do you have a fairly is there a cluster of people? Or a large group of you? Um, it depends on what your definition of large is. Uh, the town isn't very large, so... Yeah, that's true. Well, compared to the town. I would say we have about a... 2% of the town. Interesting. It is a beautiful building. You can see that it uh, has a lot of history in it. How... Do you know how, like, where it came from? Like... Who built it? I have no idea. Hmm. Are there any markings or anything in the building that you, you know do of? You really, I, we... Sorry, I just want to make sure you understood what 2% of the town meant. Like two people? No, 10. Oh, there's more than 10. There's more than... It's fine. I imagine I, it wasn't very many. Yeah. But 2% of 500 is 10. What does it take to become a member? Um, basically, uh, do the worship that needs to be done. We offer um, fruits, wines, um, anything that would bring him joy. Um, carvings... So this is gonna sound super insensitive but i'm just trying to understand so 
your worship is you eat and get drunk? Yes, just as he would do himself. It's actually not that bad. Like I said, all I know is he's the god of wine, but I'm sure there's more to it than that, but that, you know. Have you seen any any markings or anything that's unusual in here, Isabella? That's not what we're here for. And yes, Dionysus is the god of wine-making orchards, fruit, vegetation, fertility, festivity, insanity, ritual madness, religious ecstasy, and theater. So yes, we worship him to try and bring more um, fruitage to the community. We in hopes oh, to... Oh, you're trying to increase the population. Oh, so you eat, not, get drunk, and bang. Not Got population, it. but yes, oh. that is part of the rituals. Uh, we do it in order to yeah. uh, try and increase the uh, yields of crops and things like that. Interesting. So... Would I have to join to try some of that wine? <laughs> hey, yeah. no. I don't, I don't I think give we you, want to I can you give drinking. you a glass of wine, no problem. That'd be great. Uh, He's like 12! No, maybe, you're getting... no, maybe not. That's... No. All is good that. in the eyes of Dionysus. No, it's no, no, no. It's religious service. It's, it's fine. She, no, it's she still, starts pouring a glass. There's still, there's still a legality... That's, Can yeah, I just like that's... hold his like the collar of his shirt or like his backpack and pull, just, pull like, him back? Probably. He's doing the like forward thing and he's not going anywhere. I, I can just I can just take the glass from. Thank you. I'll just take that. I don't think. I'm gonna uh, try to drink some of it. We we don't want to encourage underage drinking, but thanks, Isabella. That's. I, also, we appreciate I think, the I think offer. Like I would like the kid to keep all of his brain cells. I don't care if he's 14. I'm just saying. Oh, no. Still. Yeah, it's a difference. Yeah, but he's small for him. Underage. Why don't we why don't we look around and see if we can see any anything ourselves and let Isabella get on with her ceremonial cleaning or whatever she was doing well I'll be here if you have changed your mind I'll take some still shots of the ruins and stuff too while we're out here how often do y'all meet I don't think you Kid, want to meet. Not sneaking out yeah, to go I don't think you want to meet. Once or twice a week. Victor, okay. do you want to get in on this? She's trying to. Well, Wyatt wants to join, of course, so he can have some booze. Oh, that's not going to happen. Yeah. He also probably just wants to see boobs. Yeah, that too. Oh, maybe that's going to happen. No, 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 no. I think we're. You can come too, Victor. No, we're good. Well, I what Victor wants to do, Victor can do. But I'm thinking that Wyatt, no. All right. Well, let's go look for some symbols. See if we can find anything here. Wait, wait until you find out um, that my girlfriend Olivia is part of this. This lady is also a member. Ah, Hottie McCotterson. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is this the one? Is this the one that we heard about that at near the beginning there was an older woman that? That's my acting weird. I think. I have no idea what, what you're trying to say. Yeah. It kind of your voice went a little wonky there for a bit. Oh, that's the old lady that the hippie chick said it was acting all weird lately yeah that's what i'm is that uh, who I, this is the picture i just sent yes ah 
Um, okay. I will also let oh, we you still know. Met, we uh, still haven't met her or seen correct. this person. Well, I mean, you would have seen her at the uh, town meeting. Um, oh. But I will say, Frankie, you just brought up hippie chick. Um, this is... Uh, that is her daughter, Isabella. That's her daughter. The happy chick. Correct. Hippie chick is this lady's daughter? Yes. Not not oh, the not, not the old lady. The, the no, no 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 the first lady. Yeah, the, the, lady one, we the one in the Isabella. Ruins, yeah. Oh, I thought we had a Benjamin Button situation going on. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know that that actually checks out. Now. Isabella, before we wander off to look, have you have noticed anything strange when you're out here? Are you guys out here a lot at night or no? Um, it depends on the day. So when you're here at night, is there anything odd, anything strange happening? Or do you feel like you're being watched or anything? Well, if we're being watched, we do welcome it. Okay. I didn't. I didn't know we were going to get creepy. Kind of freaky. All right. Yeah. No. 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 no, no, no. I hey, just read. Random... Meant... Since we're talking about like hanging out out here at nighttime, are you guys still? Are you ignoring the curfew? Or are you? Unfortunately, we will not curfew? be able to meet due to the curfew, so we will have to meet during the day. Okay. Period. All right, well, let's go take a look and see if we can find some of these symbols. I might keep an eye out for that symbol that was on the, uh, the thing. You're just looking for symbols? Yeah, the, the ones that Frankie described to us. Yeah, that's what I want to keep an eye out for. Any of the ones that I remember reading about. Or any of the ones that were on the altar. Uh, one that was on the altar was one of, or two of Frankie's, I think. Who were on the altar. The snake. Um. Something else. Snake and I think maybe the moon. Um. So I don't know necessarily that you would come across something that would be like the symbols here. I don't know necessarily that you would come across them. What were all of them again? Just so you can remind me. The eye, crescent moon, snake, crossroads, and spiral. Um, you might see like some spirals and serpents around here, but I don't think the rest of them would make sense to be in the area. Um, you do see like um, other sorts of carvings around here, though. Um, carvings and arrangements of stones. Um, in the central chamber. Um, the carvings are depictions of like human figures in ceremonial garb and animals that are native to the region. Um, it kind of hints that this area, this place may have been used at, 
as like a place for sacrificial practices or different types of worship here before. Interesting. Um, I guess I can take some still shots of them just so we have it. Okay. We find something to compare it to. Hey, Wyatt, is the camera stuff still working in here? Yes, Wyatt, it is. Yeah, it is. Excellent. Um, are you gonna? Hey, is there like, anything else go... that we see here? Well, there's more to the ruins other than just this central chamber. So, like, I'm asking, how deep are you wanting to go here? Just keep on going keep until working. we find something cool. Oh, there's some cool stuff in here. Oh, I'm just gonna wander. Okay. So, um. Oh, that's what I don't have open. One sec. Um, Monster of the Week. And reference sheet. Hello? Can you open? There we go. Uh, okay. So I would like someone so just based on the questions alone we're going to do read a bad situation or investigate a mystery just roll just roll plus sharp right now and we'll we'll go from there whoever whoever wants to do it i have a plus one Maxine's got a two. I won't roll. Y'all are doing better than I am. Matt, did you see my message? No. Uh, Discord? Facebook? Hey, what do we have to roll? Uh, Facebook. Mm hmm. Why not? What do we roll? Plus I sharp. don't have messages. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's what we're rolling? Oh, sh she's got to roll both dice, right? Yeah. Yeah, 2d6 oh. plus sharp. Yeah. If we rolled a, an 11. Nice. Nine okay. plus two. So it's up to you what you guys want to do. Whether you want to be an investigative mystery or read a bad situation, you can decide which questions you want to ask out of those. Your questions. Okay. I Marcus, would like us to ask the last one on investigative mystery. Just my suggestion. That's, yeah, it seems a little too uh, calm. So, what is being concealed here? Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> so, uh, because you're kind of just starting out. We're going to go for this first one here, which is you find um, there is, as you're walking along, you're like taking steps and whatever. Let's, let's say to help you guys out a little bit and make it more plausible, something falls out of your bag or your pocket or something and lands on the floor. And when it hits the floor, it sounds hollow. Interesting. Yeah. Did you guys hear that? I didn't know the ground was hollow. It just sounds totally different here. So we're we're away from the atrium, right? By atrium, do you mean central chamber? Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're a little ways away. Um, when you're uh, when you go over here, though, it has changed from kind of stone to kind of a dirt floor and like i said something thuds against the floor um and there's still dirt covering it so you have to kind of like clear it off yeah 
And underneath said dirt is a trap door. Dun, dun, dun. Why? Okay, so I'm we're brushing, brushing the dirt away. We're like, how heavy is this pool? The trap door? It's made of wood, so okay. not heavy. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm assuming we're gonna open this sucker up. Yeah, no, I'm going back now. Well, you we guys are all we cursed. Oh, well, we've got our except, phones. Except for Wyatt, because he stayed behind. Uh, um, okay. Uh, before we go to the trap door, which all of you guys are intrigued by, let's go to Wyatt for a second. So, uh, Wyatt has messaged me oh, to let me know to that he snuck away from the group as you guys were exploring a little bit deeper into did. the caves. Um, so Wyatt, what are you doing? I'm going to go back over and ask her, if, since they were being mean, if I could try the wine after all. Of course, my dear. Of course. That's not a problem at all. This wine was actually yeah, made by, by myself. Um, it's a specialty really? wine that was uh, powered by the super moon, so it'll help you out. What's a super moon? Moon uh, wine. So it's actually called a, it was a super blue moon, it's super, it's extremely rare, very bright moon, and also blue. So because of that, the energy that the lunar cycle gives off was tripled. Isn't that the either. one that Frankie was given? Yep. Moon wine. This is the yeah. mother of the daughter. Yeah, no, that's fine. Did Frankie drink that up by yes. himself? I did. Yep. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. Uh, so she pours you a glass um, and she uh, fills it almost to the brim and she's like, here, this will help you get in the mood of Dionysus himself. I think that sounds fun. What? You, you said y'all like practice uh, drinking and theater. Uh, we wine making, um, fertility, festivity, a little bit of insanity, ritual madness, and religious ecstasy, and yes, theater as well. Wait, 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 wait. I was cool with all that. Can we can we back up a second to ritualize insanity? No, insanity and ritual madness. Um, sometimes we tend yeah, to we use. Have a really great Christmas sound. This is my what is going drum, on? So Some, somebody's watching something. Um, it wasn't me. No, I know. I heard the laughing and sorry coming from Maxine. Um, yeah. I wouldn't worry too much about that. The insanity and ritual madness comes from the properties that we sometimes take during our rituals. Okay. So I don't need to worry that if I drink this, I'm going to go crazy? No. You you may become drunk, just as Dionysus usually was. And act crazy. It depends how you are. Um, well, you're not here. It depends how you are with the no, alcohol consumption. Okay. Some people, when they drink alcohol, do go crazy. Oh. Mm -hmm. well, I guess we're going to find out. I've never had alcohol before. That's perfectly fine. Enjoy. I take this cup with me while I go look around? Yes, of course. Yeah, I'll bring it back. I'm going to proceed to drink some of the wine. Okay. How gross is it to a 14-year-old? That, that was my next question. Um, I would say on a scale of 1 to 10, you're probably about mm, 8, 9. It's not, a, it's not a sweet wine. It's a dry. Oh. <laughs> so you take a sip and it's like super bitter in your mouth. There's a little hint of fruit, but not enough for you to be like, oh, this tastes like juice. Mm -hmm. I'll try a little bit more, but I'm probably going to give it to Frankie when I find Frankie. <laughs> Fair enough. 
Frankie is the booze, like, trash can disposal system. Alright, now we'll go back to the other group. Um, as you open this trap door, a uh, horrible creaking happens as you hear... Wait, Wyatt, are you getting this? He's Wyatt? Not, he's not there. Wyatt! Hold it's on, fine. you two. I'll just our, what do you mean it's fine? We're got we're where's our camera guy? I can just throw on my like go bag camera. GoPro? My GoPro. <laughs> my go bag pro. I think they have like a little button, just like beep. Yeah, they do. But it also should Ooh. be constantly recording. <laughs> Well, just to, like, make sure it's on. Okay. Mm. Yeah, he well, actually just turned it off. Not only that, uh, he shouldn't be on his own anyway, so... True. Plus, that crazy lady's back there. She's not crazy. She's perfectly fine. Try anyway. To... Whatever. So, as you creak open this door, uh, you see inside a wooden box uh it kind of goes down a ladder a bit and then a empty room and a wooden box in the center of it oh i'm going down i'm not waiting for victor or no. okay what are you doing i'm too um, I'm gonna go down. I'll flip my. F it, it's pretty dark in here, even with the door trap door open. Yeah, it's it, well. You're wandering fall. through darkness. The only place that was really lit up was the central chamber and kind of the hallway to it. You're kind of going down now, so you're actually kind of a little bit underground-ish. Okay. Um. I guess before I do anything, once I get down the ladder, I'll kind of just scan around the room with my flashlight, check everything out. Okay. Um, As you brush off the top, you see a sign that says, Lost Ark. <laughs> no. Uh, as you are looking around, there's, there's, like I said, it's not much going on. There's other carvings in the room um, on the walls. Um, you're not 100% sure what they mean, but they give off a vibe of, like, importance. Okay. How... Just, like, general vibe check of the room? Is it, like, okay? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Bet. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna. I guess I'll check. I'll check out the box and like dust off the top, and like see if there's anything like written on it or carved into it or whatever. Uh, there's something written on it, but it's in a different language, and you can't quite understand what it says. Um, I'm gonna take a photo of it just in case, so I have it. Okay. Uh, Frankie, is that box locked? I don't know. I haven't attempted to open it yet uh is it locked uh no all literally all you're looking at is like a solid like an it's old but it's solid wood on the top solid wood on the sides and there's rope on the sides and a kind of rope handle on top like rope handles on the sides what in here you're opening it? I'm opening it. Alright. It's not locked. Inside, you, you see a skeletal remains Ooh. of a what seems to be high-ranking individual, possibly a chieftain or a shaman of some kind. Um, and yeah, you see the body 
And then in with the body are other grave goods as well, such as like pottery, tools, different like ornaments and stuff. Um, and that is what's in this uh, box that you have now opened. I'm gonna just take pictures of it. I'm not gonna. Not gonna steal things from the grave. Look, I found a lot of bad things, but just not grave robbing, all right? <laughs> Hey, Gramps, you want a skull? Uh, no. Alright. So, can we see anything else in... Okay, I'm assuming is what... Did Victor get what? Uh, I just yelled down the hall. I didn't huh. get Has Wyatt showed up yet? With his glass, glass of, of booze? Wyatt. Probably. All right, well, it's not that. I'll have to figure out what the... I'm climbing up. I'm gonna have to figure out what the box said. I didn't... I don't know the language, but I took a bunch of pictures of it. But it looks like some... all high and mighty person's grave. Is it just like a cop, Like a coffin? It was a bunch of like a guy's bones and there was like pottery and other stuff with it any of the symbols that you've seen before or no no nah, it's a writing i didn't recognize it's like actual like writing and some other thing it's not just symbols that mean stuff and you took pictures okay. of like the the stuff on the walls and stuff too right yeah i took pictures of everything in there and i also should have it all on my gopro now so, who did you talk to about the symbols before? Victoria. Victoria mm -hmm. at the Antiquities place. Do we want to show her those again? Maybe she knows more about those. Well, these weren't symbols. This is writing. This is something written. This isn't just like... Yeah, you never know. She might be able to tell you what language it is. I mean, I was going to try and do a reverse Google search once I had signal. But I don't have signal out here. Is there anyone in town that, like, I know this is a small town, but that has, have we run across anybody that has some kind of, like... Has the internet? Yeah, lots of Not the internet, but um, is into, well, I guess this would be archaeology of some sort, but no, but not the, that far back. Like, how old did it seem like? I mean, he was just bones. There was right? no clothing? No, there was clothing. Yeah, what kind was of clothing clothes. was it? It, it was like, like, it was very worn and definitely dated, but like the box was sealed. Um, okay, but from looking at the clothes, like, does it look like a, like, super old clothing or like something in this? Well, I said the clothing looked like shamanistic or um it like oh. Native American kind of stuff a shamanistic oh, okay. or what was the other word I used um chieftain chieftain yeah. chieftain someone important so and how covered like how covered was the trap door like I know that we heard the uh, but did it seem like they were... It was completely concealed. Like, you wouldn't have been able to see it if you didn't drop something. Okay, so I'm guessing that Missy Magoo upstairs wouldn't, uh... Are you wouldn't talking know about anything Isabella about Tremaine? Yeah, would she know anything about who's buried down here? No. Mm -hmm. There's one other location that the uh, cult goes to, and this is not it. Okay. Okay, so we found... Just well, if we do an internet search, like Frankie suggested, and check to see if we can figure out what kind of writing, because, yeah, maybe it is some... 
Well, we can do that when we get back. We got lots of rooms to keep on searching. Yeah. How big is this place? Uh, you don't know. Wow. Uh, okay. As we are wandering through here more, I would also like to use oops. Uh oh. <laughs> What's your favorite noise that the keeper makes? It's an internal groan. <laughs> He's so happy. All right, um, that's fine. Um, you should have known it was coming. I happy. knew it was coming. Don't worry, I kind of prepped for it a little bit. Um, <laughs> okay, so you guys are just wandering in deeper. I am at least. Well, we were asking how big this place was. It's... I'm heading back to the group. Oh, now you're heading back? Okay. So... I mean, I was earlier, but I'm very disappointed in my, my choices. <laughs> I am too, don't worry. <laughs> so Victor uh, will be so pleased. As you're walking along, um, you're kind of uh, running your hands along the walls. Um, you occasionally will feel like bumps and stuff of like text. Um, and uh, I don't know if you want to do anything about that. Um, um, if I felt like text and stuff, I'd probably do the same thing I've been doing and like taking photos of stuff that's out here. Okay. Um, roll me two d six. Just for number purposes. Whoops. My one die won't stay on the table. Nine. Nine. Wow. Okay. Um, so you get nine pictures. Let's just go with that. But as you're running, as you've discovered, like, there's text and stuff along the walls. Um, this is all written in some ancient script that you've never seen before. Um but you're taking pictures just so you have it there are some that are actually like bigger paragraphs of text um and you're not 100 percent sure what they say but yeah um however as you're also running your hand along the wall you are running along and you like kind of trip a little bit and your hand goes like into a hole. Um, and in said hole, you feel something in the wall. Spiders. Yep. That's your oops. You found a bunch of spiders. I, it's spiders very important. Walls. It's very important. Um, is anyone else around or did I end up all by myself wandering? I would say they're with you. Like you guys are just wandering along. Um, as I'm trying to figure out what this is in the wall, I'm going to see if as their hand slips into the wall, it's like, oh my God, what? what's happening? As they're caught trying to get their hand out. Yeah, just that, like, yeah. can't pull my arm. <laughs> uh, Frankie, are you okay? My arm's stuck! <laughs> like, pushing against, like, any device I was like, I can't pull my hand out. So mean. Do you need a hand, Frankie? <laughs> As they do, I'm gonna, like... Uh, that would be nice. Yeah. That'd be great. All right, so... All right, so I go and try and get him a hand. Okay. <laughs> As they grab my arm, I'm gonna, like... Okay, on the count of three. One, two, and I'm gonna pull my hand out way harder than I need to. <laughs> okay. 
As Victor okay. gets punched in the head. Uh-oh. One, two, three. Are you okay, right. Victor? Uh, are you pulling the thing fine. out at the same time? Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll pull the thing out. All right. As you pull it out, you see an ancient-looking book. It's leather-bound, uh, and it's wrapped up in. Sorry, I guess you would have seen like something wrapped in like a pelt first, fabric, whatever. I don't know how. I don't know how things work. Um, something wrapped in like fabric, and then as you unravel it, you see a leather-bound book. Um, that although it's very fragile it's still very well preserved due to the cool dry conditions within where it was hidden Um, however as you open it you are well actually are you opening it I should ask Um, I will open it carefully uh as you open it you see that the text that's in this book is written in the same language as the stuff on the walls the stuff that was on the chieftain or shaman's coffin um the binding is like cracked and aged leather um there's faint traces of decorative embossing on it um the pages are made from a type of ancient parchment, parchment, not apartment. Um, and an the, apartment. yeah, it's an apartment in this book. Um, nice. The pages are yellowed and brittle, and some of the edges are starting to crumble. Um, although the ink has faded in different places in the book, it still remains legible, but it's written in a language you don't understand. Um, it's approximately six inches by nine inches. Uh, it's compact but thick, and there's a lot of a lot of stuff written in here. Um, Frankie, do you need me to carry that book for you so you don't lose it? <laughs> <laughs> it is really fragile, though. Vic. So, couple things for you. Don't put it in your pocket. That wasn't my fault. So. Next. The characteristics of this script for you. Whoa. Look at Wyatt right now. It's like a shadow person. <laughs> Cloned himself. Nice. Uh, <laughs> interesting. Uh, so there's pictographic and ideographic elements. Ideographic? I'm not sure. Um, it contains like pictographic symbols, uh, that like, and then, um, ideographic elements that represent like concepts and stuff. Um, some symbols also represent sounds. I guess I shouldn't give this to you yet. Never mind. Ignore what I'm saying. It's... Right. It has those two different elements which will help you, which is the pictographic and ideographic. Am I yeah. saying that right? No idea. I'm not sure. Guess I gotta Google it. say it ideograph there we go ideographic that's thank you google uh the stream just heard that but you guys didn't (laughs) anyway um yeah i'll uh i'll give you more later but you have to find somebody to translate that for you What is going on on Wyatt's camera? It is very strange. 
It is. Um, okay, so yeah, you have found that. There you go. Happy, happy oops. Yay! 